Thanks a lot, Kian Corla. It's over a year now since I described in the doll what was happening in, av in aviation as an example of what Naomi Klein calls the shock doctrine. In other words, the taking advantage of a real crisis to drive through a pre-existing agenda. In this case, to uh, outsource, to drive down workers' wages and conditions, to create a leaner uh, workforce in the interests of profit. And that was what was happening back then, and over the last year, that process has deepened and has extended itself. The kind of tactics that are being used by companies like Aer Lingus, uh, like DAA, like Cork Airport, are outrageous, uh, bullying, thuggery, terrorisation of their workforces, all words used to me by different groups of workers about what they're experiencing. I want to pay tribute to those workers who have stood up to that bullying, who have voted overwhelmingly to reject bad deals, who have voted in the case of DAA for industrial action. And I want to say shame on the government, say shame on the state for funneling millions and millions of euros to these companies engaged in horrendous attacks on workers' rights and bullying of their own uh, workers without any condition whatsoever, no attempt to use any pressure to say you shouldn't be attacking workers in this uh, way. Let's take the example of Aer Lingus. Uh, Aer Lingus attempts to drive through uh, an undermining of uh, uh, terms and conditions, new work practices, new lower pay scales, for new entrants. The workers bravely and correctly stand up. They vote democratically by 82% to say, no, we don't agree with that. We don't agree with creating this two-tier uh, workforce. We don't agree with undermining terms and conditions. And what's the reaction of the company to that democratic vote? It's to send every one of them an incredibly threatening letter to say, instead of going up to the 80% that we pro previously promised, you're going to stay on 60% of the pay. Let, let the workers try to pay their mortgages and feed their kids uh, on uh, that. No pay increases until 2025. Uh, Layoffs from early uh, 2022. And a series of other measures designed to intimidate those workers for expressing for their, their democratic right to reject a very bad uh, deal. They should continue uh, to do so. Um, the state has poured millions and millions, 150 million in the Strategic Investment Fund and millions in wage subsidies into Aer Lingus and there should be conditions attached to those not to attack workers' conditions uh, in this way. Uh, in reality, Aer Lingus should be brought back into public ownership with democratic planning uh, to protect workers, to protect connectivity and also to enable a rapid and just transition to a zero carbon economy which does mean a change in the nature of aviation and a reduction in the amount of aviation but a change that workers must not pay the price for, they should be guaranteed no loss of income or jobs. And then finally in relation to DAA which I've raised multiple times in the doll. You've got this so-called new ways of working, which is precisely about outsourcing, changing in rotas, undermining of basic conditions, undermining of demarcation. Uh, a gun put to the head of many groups of workers, and many groups of workers uh, were forced under pressure to accept it. Uh, it has been a complete disaster. The workers tell me that's the reason. It was because of this outsourcing. That's the reason that we had the massive queues in Dublin Airport a few weeks ago. I've just been sent a video from Dublin Airport of the toilets in a disgraceful condition. As a result of outsourcing, they say very, very clearly, it's been a disaster. But a group of workers, the maintenance workers, rejected that. Again, in a democratic vote, they said, we, we don't agree to that. And the response of the company is what? To outsource all of their jobs. That's what the company is doing, to outsource all of their jobs because they had the temerity to reject a very bad uh, deal. Uh, the workers then correctly voted for industrial action and the latest is a letter to the union saying if you proceed with industrial action we will be taking an injunction against you and threatening the company's assets. They need to stop, the semi-state company, stop threatening workers and unions in this way.